consider this year that this motion, regardless of this uh, a proposed amendment, regardless of its merits, would be better addressed in a later year, not this year. A speech in uh, favor of its consideration, yes. Uh, Andrew Adams, uh, the, it would be a useful motion, I think, to refer to committee. In order to do that, we have to consider the motion so that we can refer it to committee to report back next year. So therefore, I'm in favour of considering this motion uh, at the main meeting so that we can refer it to a committee for report in later years. A speech in favour of consideration. A uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, opposed to consideration, I apologize. Uh, yeah, Mr. Yellow. Were you, trying, were you trying to get recognition back there? Okay. The number of works that come out in each year does not decrease if we spend two years thinking about it. If you're behind on your reading, you're still going to be more behind on your reading. I certainly know that I am. <laughs> Let's see, that was opposed. In favor of consideration, yes. Can, can I get your name? Lori McGee. Thank you. Hi, um, I think we should consider this because. Sorry, give your name. Oh, please. I'm sorry, Gloria McGid again. Um, I think that we should consider this because there are a lot of works that are initially being self-published um, and have very small distribution that are picked up by a publisher later. Perfect example is Andy Weir's The Martian, which I would have liked to have seen on a ballot because I really like that book. So I think expanding the time frame would make allowances for cases like that. All right, that was in favor of consideration. Those opposed to consideration, um, yeah, Mr. Glazer. He didn't show me his name, he showed me his whole pass. <laughs> Glenn Glazer. I would simply like to address um, Dr. Adams' point about committee. Uh, there isn't anything sacrosanct about a committee appointed by um, the business meeting. People can form committees on their own. They can org self-organize and report back. Um, I don't think that the going through the formal process um, that he outlined is really at all necessary. I do agree that this should be taken to a different year, as Mr. Keeson said, for the reasons he said. That's opposed to consideration. Anyone in favor? Point of inquiry. An inquiry? How do we have two minutes of the day for either side left? We started at two on each side. Yeah, you only, the clock starts when you start talking and stops when you step away from the microphone. The time walking back and forth doesn't count. It's too big a room. We'd use up all the time just in moving back and forth. That's how. There's, a, there's, a, about le, there's less than a minute left in each side just from their talking. There's 10 seconds left for Ten. not considering. T uh, where are we at? In favor of consideration? Uh, no. or yes. in, in, favor. in favor, how much? Uh, we got about uh, 45 seconds. Less than 45 seconds. Let's have one more, one more in favor of consideration and try and call it. Call it uh, you're in favor of consideration. Let's, let's see if we can finish this off. We're, we're repeating ourselves. Almost not in order, actually. I'm Hank Graham. I think this is a major change. I think the transition is going to be painful. I think it's worth doing. I think it's time to change how we're doing it because I think it will fit the way the situation is now because of things like the Martian. Is there any objection to closing debate at this time? No. Thank you. On the motion to postpone indefinitely, a two-thirds vote against consideration being required. All those in favor of considering item B17, two years eligibility, raise your hands. All those in favor of considering it, if you, if you want to consider it, raise your hands. Hands down. Those who are opposed to consideration and want to kill it now, hands down. There being, being two-thirds in, uh, in the negative, the motion to postpone indefinitely passes. 
the uh, measure is killed and will not appear on the main meeting agenda. Question, question, the member will come to the microphone and state their question of privilege. Tom Galloway, would it be possible for people to line up here in front so we can save the walking time? It, it, it hardly, the answer is it usually doesn't work well when you try it that way. Uh, normally because by the time your spot in the queue comes up, the debate has passed you by. That's what we've discovered in the past. Thing. I'd rather not try it. I know it slows things down. For what? Is there another microphone available? Is there another Parliamentary microphone? inquiry. Mm -hmm. Still Andrew Adams, uh, I, I would like to request the uh, top table to explain the um, process whereby somebody who was at this meeting could request a reconsideration of the decision that's just been made. Uh, anybody who voted in fa uh, anybody who voted to postpone indefinitely, the side that won, could move to reconsider the vote tomorrow. Nobody else can. Either people who voted in favor of consideration or people who were not here. So it is possible to resurrect it. It's just, it requires somebody who just won has to do so. Thank you. Next item, uh, let me see, how are we doing for time? I think we have time. Let's, let's see if we can get through these last two. Uh, next is B13, best series, page 10. Uh, this is moved to amend the Wisconsin Constitution to change the written fiction Hugo Award categories by adding uh, by, by creating a best series award and correcting related references to existing Hugo Award categories. Yes, Ms. Lurie. Doctor. Dr. Lurie, I'm sorry. I'll Dr. Lurie. Thank you. Uh, I move to postpone indefinitely. Is there a second? Yeah. All right, Ms. Lurie is the maker of the motion. Doctor. Dr. Lurie. <laughs> Dr. Lurie, as the maker of the motion, you get preference in, spe in speaking against consideration. Uh, again, as Mr. Keeson said earlier, we have enough Hugo stuff to deal with at this meeting, and I think this is not the time to take this up. Speech in favor of considering best series. Yes, Mr. Buff. Warren Buff, maker of the best series motion. I am, in, of course, in favor of considering a motion I made. <laughs> However, I believe that it would bring our Hugo categories more in line with the way publishing works these days. While we nominate a fair number of works and series, they don't tend to actually do very well as best novel. We tend to have a certain modicum of support that can get them nominated but they just don't stand alone very well as novels when compared against other standalone novels or even first entries in series. I, I think that allowing us to consider fiction in the form it's actually written and published would be an improvement for the Hugos, and thus I am in favor of considering the motion. Speech opposed, uh, Mr. Lorenz. My name is John Lorenz. Uh, speaking as somebody who's had some experience in, in administering Hugo's over the years, I can tell you that looking at this proposal, this would be horrendous to try to deal with the eligibility problems and trying to figure out what fits into what category and when, when something new is newly eligible in a series. Speech in favor of considering the series, Hugo? Sir. Thomas Monaghan. The reason this needs to be discussed is this. there's a question about why a Hugo goes to the bo last book of a series and causing all the rest of them to be ignored, or why should that book get the Hugo while the series itself deserves a Hugo? This needs to be discussed and just ignoring it for another year and postponing it is not a good idea. Thank you. 
Speech opposed to consideration. Yes. Yes. Ms. Neal. I'm Terry Neal. Um, I saw this proposal morph a lot online, and I don't think there's been enough time to actually hammer out all of the details. And I think that the people who proposed it could use another year to refine with input from people online, and we should not be doing that to this year in the business meeting. Any further substantive debate on this? Parliamentary in member will come and state their parliamentary inquiry. Howard Rosenblatt. Uh, am I not correct that considering this year would only mean that we get to vote again a year from now as opposed to considering this year making it happen? That's correct. Anything that passes this year will be sent to next year's Worldcon for ratification. So it doesn't pass. It doesn't it, become effective. It doesn't become effective it, 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 this year. It would have to be ratified next year before it took effect. Right. So there would be an additional there year. There would be an additional year of discussion. Correct. Yes. Any, is there any reason, any, any further substantive debate or can we bring this to a vote? You want to speak to it? Uh, which, which side? In favor of consideration? Okay. Got some time left. 20 seconds. 20 seconds remain. Hi, my name is Derek Freeland. Uh, this is my first uh, Worldcon convention, I think. Uh, I think um, <clears throat> I'm in favor of this, uh, sorting this out as soon as we can, because I, if, I think if we want people to be engaged, new people to be engaged, um, I found that some of the books I... Uh, yeah, I apologize. Time in favor of debate. Yes, you do need to get your name to the secretary, please. Go ahead and put that in. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, speech, uh, any, can we bring this to a vote? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. On the question of consideration, a two-thirds vote against consideration being necessary to suppress this. All those who believe we should consider the best series proposal, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed to its consideration. Oh, yeah, I, I'm afraid we're going to have to count it. I, I, the chair thinks there's probably two-thirds on that, but I think we're going to need to count it, and we do probably need the practice anyway. <laughs> yes. Very well. The question is, shall the motion be considered a two-thirds vote against being necessary? All those in favor of considering the motion will please rise. In that case, we'll start with you. In favor of consideration? Oh, yes, we'll start with one, and we go down to the end here. Oh, you I didn't see it. You stood up. I didn't see it. Okay, then two, and then three. 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 Uh, where are we at? Let's see here. Where are we at? That's right. We want to go across, folks. Yeah. Oh, right. He's right. Yes. Because of the three sections, we need to go each do each okay. section, or we'll lose, we'll lose complete track. Where were we? Let's start in the back and move forward. How's that? Oh, that's right. It won't work. It won't work. The people behind won't see them. Go ahead and count. Where were you? Where were you? you were 14? 14. 14. Sit down. Let's come to the front. It, yeah, that's right. It won't work. Other way. Sixteen is your number. Your number 16. Bill 47, I think. 47. Thank you. Let's come to the front and do the last section. Let's do the front and go to the next section, please.
There are uh, seven, whoops, sorry, in the back, sorry. There are 73 in the... Yes, in favor? 74. There are 74 in the affirmative. 75. Where'd we get a, there was a 75th? Okay, hang on a moment here. Hang on a moment before I, before I continue. There are currently 75 in the affirmative. Is there anyone who, do, who, was not, who does not think they were counted? Folks, you, those of you in the back, I really think you were really hard to see back there. Okay, if we were using the standing room section, we'd be doing a physical division, and the chair is going to ask that, those, that you come further forward so the sergeants at arms, then there are seats up here, if you can, and that would be a lot easier on us. Bring the chairs with you. If you want to bring your chairs, go ahead, all right? All right. Those who are, okay, there are chairs up here, lots of spaces. Fill them in if you can, all right. Very well then. Those opposed to the consideration of the question will please rise, and we will start again over here. We'll do the sections to the back, then the middle, then the right, from my point of view. <laughs> Quiet, please. You've missed people on that row. You've missed people on this row. Six. Hold, hold the count at 36, please. The chair is going to observe. Those of you standing along the wings of the room will never be counted unless you sing out. You, 37, then. Yes, you are never going to. Do not stand up around there. Go have a seat, Mr. Bumalog. Thank you. Okay, we are at 37. Thank you. Hold the count at 101, please. Are there any other people wishing to vote? Hearing none, the vote is 75 in the affirmative and 125 in the negative. There being less than two-thirds in the, in the negative, the motion to postpone indefinitely fails. The motion will be on the main agenda. Question to the tech team, do we have enough time? Or do we need to take a break now or are we, are we, can we go on to the, do that last one on that page? We do, need a, we, do, we, we, we do need a technical timeout at this moment. This meeting is in recess for two minutes. <laughs> 